Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Y'all, I'm out here at my truck, my 97 F-150, and uh, today uh, I'm going to talk to you about a uh, four before uh, actuator that I ordered. Actually, this is going to be my second one. I sent one back, and they sent me another one. Uh, if you remember one of my other videos, I placed the um, actuator, four-wheel drive actuator down there on the front differential, and um, so that that got my four-wheel drive working and everything. But what I did notice, it was pulling it, when it pulled it in, it pulled it in slow. And when I released it, it would release it slower than it should. So I started doing a little bit of a work, you know, checking things out. And uh, this is where the, the two um, actuators right here, vacuum uh, cylinders, I mean, located right here. But anyway, y'all, let me just show you here. On this old one right here, uh, when I pull a vacuum on it, it shouldn't it should be like not restricted here on this uh, top port and it's restricted uh really bad and that's what's causing a uh my uh four before be engaged real slowly after i put that new actuator now it would pull in and engage it but um i knew something wasn't exactly right and uh, then when i disengage it like i say it, it would release it real slow so the problem is is this uh, uh cylinder right here uh, it's, it's, and I tried blowing some air. So apparently inside here, it's just not releasing uh, in all the way. But anyway, the point of this video is I uh, ordered this new part, and this is the second one. And the both of them I ordered, y'all, is this. And by the pictures now, the, by the pictures, it's supposed to be just like this in here. You see right here, it's got this little uh, notch on the side of it. And that's that's the original one. And the one they sent me, first time was like this the little notch you see in the very bottom there and this is the second one i received eight it's also got a notch in the very bottom so they sent me uh, two different companies sent me uh, the same um, solenoid now the problem is is right here on your clip on the connect right here where you wiring the harness it's got this little uh notch on the side well it's not a notch but uh it's, it's got this little raised piece of plastic right there on the side where it goes into notch well that won't work obviously on this right here so instead of sending this back y'all what i'm gonna try to do is just um i'm gonna cut the cut this off with my knife right here that little plastic on the very side of it and see if I can get it go on. But I think I'm going to have to also, on this bottom right here, you, you see right here, it's it's rounded. Or this here on the bottom is uh, more flat looking. You see the difference right there? Is the, the, this one here, here. So first I'm gonna take that little uh, plastic off the side of that connector. I got this uh, piece right here, let me show you. I got that right there filed off. I don't know if you see it, the side of it right there. It is completely flat now and on this part right here I took my knife I just cut the edge off a little bit and filed this back uh, so that connector the connector wasn't want to go all the way on there so just shorten this up on this side right here a little bit and uh, it'll go on there and I'm fixing to uh, go ahead and finish installing it and uh, see if it takes care of my problem and uh, let you know if it worked all right y'all got installed that clip went right on there good and tight i like say um i just had to file the edge off that connector and a little bit off this uh lip off the front of this uh little catch right here and uh now i'm fixing to see if it uh engage and disengage like it uh should there i'll let y'all know if i got it fixed all right Side, kind of pulled in real quick what you want right there all right this do it again see how it pulled that out real quick so that's what you're looking for right there all right again all right let's disengage all right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Maybe I helped some of you out if you're having some trouble with four-wheel drive. Um, like I said, I'll try to link another video 
with me placing that actuator on the bottom there at the end of this video and like i say uh first problem i had was that uh actuator and that fixed my problem for the most part but this solenoid was uh wasn't working properly so it was making everything work a lot slower pulling off a lot slower than it should but now it's working fine and i just want to bring y'all along show you uh so what i did to my truck here yeah, maybe it'll help you out if you have the same problem or a similar problem all right as always friends my family yours y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you later bye-bye